Next up here is a pipe tool. So basically based on this line, a pipe will be created. Then here we have our parameters again. You can here at the top say the style. So right now I'm just using the basic pipe. We can here, for example, increase the amount. So we can set this, for example, to three. So we have three pipes next to each other that follow the line. So if I move the line, they will nicely follow that. Then also we have here further spacing, so we can bring them closer to each other. Then here we also have the direction. So let's say I want this to Y, which is the up axis from Houdini. I also have here a actually a toggle to force the direction. So in some cases, not in all cases, it might be useful to sort of force this. And as you can see, it now sort of like will force it more in that direction. We can still choose to have other alignments. Like this can also be quite interesting as alignment. Then here we further have settings, so we can change the radius. We can add the bevel amount. We can then here control the divisions. Then the next pipe is the smooth pipe. So it's a quite smooth pipe, which also has some settings here. For example, the spacing, more radius and division options. Then there is also a cable option. So if you want to place actually some cables around the scene, we can do that here as well. So we have the general radius of the cable. We have the division amount. And also here at the bottom is a interesting setting, which is solve overlapping. So here I'm zoomed in a bit more on these cables. And when I click solve overlapping, you will see that, in, that it will try to solve overlapping cases. So by default, it is off, but you can enable this to get actually better results that it automatically solves all, the, all that for you. Then at the final tab here, we have an output, which is just the normal of the models. The, if you just crank this to zero, and you can see all the individual polygons. If you just crank, if you just set this to the max, we can see we have a quite smooth cable. And that was it for the pipe slash cable tool.